Oh my gosh, he's melting here, dude. <laughs> it's all this additional power gain. Oh my god. He's burning. He's burning so fast, boys. Oh, dude. What? This is nuts, bro. This is actually nuts. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be checking out the buffed up version of Vulture. So with today's update, this man has got a fair few improvements to his utility. So he's got more charge gain. Also, if he avoids a debuff due to immunity, he instantly goes to 100 charge there. His uh, Raptor Strike power drain has been discounted as well. It used to be, I believe, 50 core charge, and now it's 40. And also off the heavy attacks, you can apply a 30 second stacking armor break as well. Uh, but aside from that, I think everything is pretty much the way it used to be. So yeah, there are some like nice additional base upgrades. But is it going to be enough to make Vulture like a really good, really exciting champion? So here, this is what a really cool use of Vulture after his buff. Is that in the villains variant, um, now you can like easily power lock with the, uh, <laughs> the armor break. So yeah, that works out really, really nicely. Plus also gives you a bit more base damage as well. So let's see if we can stack up to uh, five armor breaks here. And then uh, I think, do you want to try a special two? Let's go for a special two. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to uh, burn power off the special two. And that's how you get the big damage here. Because um, <laughs> we've got him locked. There is no power to burn. So yeah, we actually don't see the, uh, the proper damage here. But uh, he's doing all right so far, man. It's not too bad. Let's uh, go for another combo, straight into a special two, and there we go, Havoc is down. But all those armor breaks certainly do um, amplify the base damage uh, a little bit, man, so it's a nice little improvement there. And again, Vulture is now uh, even more heavy on the utility. He's got, like, natural base incinerate immunity, but he also does have... Um, and we'll talk about these a little bit later. A couple of uh, very interesting synergies that allow him to also get shock immunity and poison immunity. So they've really leaned into kind of the utility of Vulture more than anything else for this upgrade. So yeah, I think... Can we, can we still burn power here? Okay, I don't think we can on this path, man. Uh, but we can use the armor break, I think, to power lock. So yeah, we... <laughs> We keep the uh, the armor break active, and also this is really good uh, utility for this node as well, because there's like a 90% um, armor node, so you can just shout about. And again, armor break, depending on the matchup, man, is actually like so clutch in terms of its uh, function. I get somebody like uh, Killmonger or Emma Frost, or like Iron Man Infinity War. Again, can be really really nice. <laughs> but here, it's just massive cheese. Just keep on kicking her in the face, man. So yeah, this is working out, uh, you know, quite well so far. Oh, no, I was a little bit too late on that. For some reason, I was thinking I was playing Black Panther, and I was waiting for the uh, the double hit. <laughs> but yeah, that was definitely a little, bit of a, a little bit of a muggins play there, man. But now we can just... Uh, we got a bit of Chitauri... Um, energy back again we need to crit to generate it i think you could only generate off crits previously if you had uh, i believe it was the dr octopus synergy so i think he's now got the synergy on the um uh, the base of the champion and the doc ox synergy has been upgraded to give him five more there uh so yeah it's a really nice little booster but vulture he ain't doing too bad today man but yeah, if you've uh, if you're like a big fan of Vulture, and I know there's probably like not too many people out there, uh, what do you think of Vulture after his buff? Because again, it's probably been like a year since I've probably played Vulture, so I don't have like um kind of a a recent reference. But I do remember um, when I played him like a couple of years ago, I actually really enjoyed him. I always thought he was like pretty decent in terms of the utility and see that he's got a bit more damage output and also even more utility now. I think he's a really good time. So yeah, maybe, maybe he's going to be moving up that tier list. I think he's also had a, uh, uh, what is it, some good uses in some of the variant content here, man. Because <laughs> again, he's just got like the stuff you need for the villains variant, having access to the uh, the armor break and also the armor up as well. It's got like two sources of power drain here. So even before this um, champion got buffed up, again, he was pretty damn decent for this. But I think one um, big thing now with uh, his ability to like instantly fuel up all of his Chitauri energy is like taking advantage of those um, immunity synergies. 
uh, certain paths and scenarios. So we're going to test them out in a few, a few weird and interesting places today, man. So it should be fun. Let's smash it with another combo. Again, Professor Eggs is just like a little bit annoying to fight here. <laughs> Because uh, of all the fall throwing that's going on. And I think uh, also he is bypassing our miss mechanic. So we can't go for a, a miss here ourselves. Let's go for this. Oh, yeah, he faltered. Wasn't paying too much attention to that. And now mind control. No. Slightly inconvenient. Right, let's find that off. And we are done there. Professor X is down straight in the bin. Again, a bit of an annoying <laughs> matchup to deal with there. But there's there's nothing uh, about Vulture that's absolutely screaming uh, broken. But then again, we aren't really like testing out his um, damage potential here because it's mainly about like burning power. So yeah, we'll need to jump into some other content to really see what numbers we can get out of Vulture. And uh, for additional damage, it mainly is the Tiger Synergy that gives this man some uh, damage output potential. Because that allows you, if you do Raptor Strikes, to also uh, refresh, or sorry, pause uh, your power burning debuff from the special two. But here, because we've got the um, uh, opponent locked again, they're not generating any power to burn. <laughs> but yeah, this is just like super, super cheese mode in terms of the heavy spam here. But, you know, gives you a really good idea of like a cool use for uh, Vulture. If you do get him as a uh, five or six star champion, I don't know if he's old enough to use a rank up gem. I think he's just old enough to use a rank up gem on uh, from some of the newer variants. So what year did he come out? Was it 28 or 2017? I know it was with the release of... Um, Gosh, who is it? Stark and Aunt Spider-Man. That's it, man. They came out the same month, and one of them, like, definitely dwarfed the other <laughs> in terms of uh, community conversation, man. Because, yeah, everybody just uh, very quickly forgot the Vulture was a champion for an incredibly long time. Those are some nice space kicks, though, man. 13,000 damage there. And I think as well, before we... um. And this path, we've got to go for the Killmonger matchup again. It's just like the perfect matchup to showcase his uh, new armor break utility. So yeah, let, let's go for it, man. But this guy is is basically now like a, a Venom or a Doctor Doom for <laughs> certain buffs in this variant. Again, this path he couldn't do previously because this is the, uh, the armor break uh, lock path, not the armor up one. But there are a few paths in this variant that have both the power control from the armor break and armor up as well. Alright, let's go for this. Hopefully we get some crits as well, man. I think Killmonger has like a fair amount of uh, base crit resistance or something. So yeah, we're actually... Um, we should have hedged our... We should have stalled using those armor breaks because I think we're actually about to run out. So yeah, just as a little bit of a pro tip when fighting Killmonger, um, <laughs> you are going to run out. Because <laughs> uh, he's got stupidly high crit resistance, man. We barely crit at all this match. <laughs> okay, so let's go for special three here. Um, he's still not going to get the power from this one, so that's a good time. Um, we have crit, I think, once so far. But yeah, the amount of hits that we've done to only crit once is not, not great for us, eh? But if we can apply the um, the special one. Oh, nice. We've got the armor break active already from that counter. So that ended up. I don't know if we just got super unlucky there. <laughs> that was really weird. Because, <laughs> yeah, we just didn't grow it for ages. But I know Killmonger, I'm pretty certain anyway, has some, uh, some pretty good uh, base crit resistance. Right, let's keep on armoring these boys in here, mate. Come on, let's go. Man's going straight in the bin. So yeah, mega, mega cheese there. Um, but I probably should have just thrown like one more heavy attack to finish off. But hey, look, this is the ultimate BM. Just chuck that man against the wall. And there we go, mate. Straight in the bin there. Big old flexing on the win. Uh, so yeah, that was a pretty good time. I think now we'll jump into a little bit of Realm of Legends, though. Uh, just to test out his damage output, again, in a bit of a bigger scenario. I'm not really expecting like that much when it does come to um, uh, Vulture. But then after that, I think we'll move into uh, maybe a bit of Act 6 or another variant. And then look at his utility and stuff that he can be used for. And show you guys uh, a couple of cool things uh, that I thought of off the top of my head. So yeah, we do have uh, team synergies here as well. So again, this is like... Um, some pretty high potential vulture gameplay right here. 
I think we go for the armor breaks initially. I think it's the, the right call to go for here. Which I'm not too sure if we um, just want to get this up to like start siphoning uh, Chitari energy and then try and Raptor Strike so we can pause that. And then we dash back, dash in. We pause that one. And then we go for another debuff here. Oh nice, somehow we uh, surpassed the uh, the limit on that one. So yeah, his power control is pretty damn good, man. <laughs> Especially when you have the Tigress energy and you can have like both of these uh, active. Works out really, really nicely. But again, you do need to, um, what is it, dash back and then dash in in order to wrap the strike. But yeah, you can see how um, how good his power control is, man. He's got a fair bit going for him there. Again, he's not the absolute Don Bio all end all power control champion, but he's uh, he's got a bit more of a utility niche than he did previously. Again, with like all of this um, additional gain, really helps him out. So yeah, this is the the Tiger synergy mainly that's doing the work and keeping this stuff paused here. So if you play Vulture well, he's always been like a pretty decent power control champion. Remember, I swear it was actually like three years ago now <laughs> that we did like a a Vulture revisit showcase. But I remember then we uh, we did like Road to the Labyrinth of Legends, dude, back when that was like relevant content. And uh, the really annoying, like, power gain path in that one. But yeah, the damage still, like, isn't anything um, super snazzy. But I think for, like, the amount of utility that he's got, like, Vulture, I think, you know, he's still an alright champion. Again, I, th I just feel like for a lot of uh, circumstances and scenarios in the, the current state of the game, again, you want a champion that gets the job done a little bit quicker. But now he's a... Um, a champion that you can use potentially for more stuff can get the job done in some slightly different scenarios. He's also, uh, again, as we showed in the first match, actually a pretty good counter for Havoc as well, because you got the the base um, armor up and the power drain. <laughs> so yeah, he actually works like super well versus Havoc, man. He's got a lot of got a lot of interesting matches, this fella. Uh, but there we go. Uh, Winter Soldier is down again. I think in terms of like Realm of Legends, man, he's just like not that much of a damage champion. He is like, you know, borderline still noodle tier. Would have been nice to see him get like a little bit more of a damage upgrade, because yeah, that definitely dragged on for a little bit. So yeah, they could have like bumped his damage up by like 20, 20, 40 percent, man. I think that would have been like a nice place to um. Uh, hand vulture, but a hey, slightly unfortunate. Uh, but anyway, let's move on and have a look in Act 6. So first off, um, I think we'll start off by showing him against uh, Abomination with one of the synergies. So these are the two new synergies, uh, and this one with either War Machine, Ultron, and Sentry. Now, granted, all three of these champions are currently absolute cheeks. <laughs> like, they're really not that good. Um, he gets Poison Immunity and 5% attack rating there. So the Mr. Fantastic synergy is doing, like, pretty much nothing at this point. So I think we'll get uh, Ultron in the mix. Actually, like, one really interesting thing I just um, uh, realized as well is if we also get Warlock on this synergy then we can get the Fury which means that he's actually probably an option that you can use for 6.2 Mr. Sinister so yeah that's actually just something I, um, I thought about just then because that's how I got through the Sinister with my Clairvoyant because she's poison immune so yeah I think Vulture would work for that match but you need to have Warlock and also um uh, Ultron as well, because then every time we get poisoned and we're immune to it, uh, we should be getting a Fury buff, and it's like a pretty big Fury buff, man. I think it's like 60% attack. So yeah, I think, theoretically, that should work for um, <laughs> Mr. Sinister. We'll have to try it out at some point, man, maybe in a different video, because it'll take uh, a little while to get there, but we'll just show the interaction versus uh, Abomination here, man. Again, you can see we're, we're fully immune to the poison here. 
and because of the Warlock synergy, we'll also get a Fury. So yeah, you can actually, uh, <laughs> I mean, if you've got Warlock, he's probably just the better character to use. Uh, but you know, if you want to bring in Vulture as well for the, for the fun, for the banter, uh, it is an option, man. It is an option, something you can go for. So yeah, just something, something a little bit, a little bit interesting to think about. Right, let's strike this man. Go for that. Straight in special two. I wish the special two didn't push him back uh, so much. Okay, that was a little bit of an error. There's something about Vulture's animations, man. He's just such a satisfying champion to play. Even though this man is like noodle hands in <laughs> of the content today, I'm just enjoying playing Vulture. Usually, I just can't stand to play memes here, champions, man. But there's, there's something about Vulture. I don't know, dude. The, those animations, they're a little, bit, a little bit too clean sometimes. Let's smash into the block, and there we go, Abomination is down. But yeah, uh, he can now go fully Poison Immune. So again, in, in the right scenario where you need Poison Immunity plus his utility, then again, there is stuff that you can potentially use him for. Uh, but anyway, let's go into something a little bit deeper now. So if we go to um, Act 6 4, so he's got Incinerate Immunity, he's got... Um, Again, a shock immunity synergy as well. So I'm just going to like eye up the paths here and see what would be uh, good to go for. Because yeah, he doesn't have cold snap immunity, so that one's out of the fray. Uh, so we have a choice here. We've either got this path, uh, which is the Icarus path as well. So we got incinerates on this path, dude. But again, our boy is uh, immune to incinerate. Or we've got the, the shock immunity path. Even with that one, dude, we're going to get murdered by Electro. And there's also the do not go gentle node. So yeah, I think we kind of just have a little bit of fun here. And let's go for the uh, Icarus and incinerate path. And I know there's, um, I think... Was it in 7.2? I think there's a few incinerate paths knocking about. <laughs> so yeah, I'm curious to see, like, with 7.2 literally coming out in a week and a bit, uh, what kind of uses Vulture actually might have in that content. Because, yeah, there might be some weird stuff moving forward. Because, again, with a lot of the, the newer wave content, uh, we're just seeing, like, yeah, all sorts of, like, weird node combinations and all sorts of stuff that's kind of mainly about having, like, the right utility and immunities than being like a absolute brute. But being an absolute brute uh, certainly does help. <laughs> it's always a, a good feature of a champion. Right. Uh, oh, we had a bit too much power gain from the um, uh, Ignite on Sabretooth there, I believe. We can still, you know, chuck off the special three, get a little bit of damage off this bad boy. And then we've got the Incinerate. Sorry, it's incinerate, not ignite. Okay, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> this is this is the kind of base damage that we needed from the vulture buff, man. But again, Icarus here is just giving us like crazy furies, which give us um uh, like massive additional attack. But again, due to the fact that we are immune to incinerate and we're constantly converting incinerate to like full to Tari energy, uh, <laughs> I definitely failed at saying that a little bit. Again, it just makes uh, Vulture a bit of a beast of this path, man. He works out right. Okay, we are taking D-Gen here. I should have uh, fired off the heavy attack a little bit earlier. One more hit earlier. But let's go for the, I think, the five um, armor breaks. And then we'll see what happens. Right, a special two here, just so we can start controlling the power. <laughs> right, we are getting wrecked by the degeneration, man. No hella play aggressively. Let's go. Okay, dude, I am uh, one million percent dead here. Okay, well, 
We got right there, man. We got absolutely annihilated. All right, after that absolute humiliation, I decided the only way we could end this video in a blaze of glory is to take down the 6-2 Mr. Sinister. But we're going to do Emma Frost as well, man. I've cleared the path. We got the boring fights out the way. Let's go for the big boys here. So Emma Frost has Limber, Feats of Power, Kinetic Transference. So yeah, we just need to try and shatter that armor. And again, 30-second armor break is fantastic duration if we can get it off here but um okay nice that's really good i wish he had like uh immunity to reverse controls <laughs> i don't know why that should be a vulture ability but it should be a vulture ability man i think if we get this off as well this should um help to control the uh Kinetic Transference node a fair bit here. Right, let's dump this. Get that again. Dodge this. He's actually doing super well this fight, man. Right, let's go for this. <laughs> and we are done. Emma Frost is straight in the bin. Right, so that's the, the mini boss dealt with. But now it's time to move on to the big boy. We got 6-2 Mr. Sinister. And again, this is only possible with the um uh the Ultron and Warlock synergy. Or you need like Ultron and Heimdall and Angela. You need a Fury and you also need the poison immunity. Uh so yeah, we've got like everything here. <laughs> But uh, this should be interesting, man. I think, again, with his power control, should work out really well with this synergy because uh, you refresh... Um, what was it? The Fury so quick, and usually that gives Mr. Sinister like loads of power. But I think if we get the special two power burn on, we should be big chilling here. And also, like, we're getting um, our Chitauri energy like constantly topped up as well. It's kind of working out pretty nicely. Right, let's go for it, mate. Oh my gosh, he's melting here, dude. <laughs> it's all this additional power gain? Oh my god! He's burning! He's burning so fast, boys! Oh, dude. What? This is nuts, bro. This is actually nuts. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I, I got a little bit too excited there, man. The power's just burning so quick. Wow, that was a really, really quick takedown. Um, yeah, well, uh, you know, Vulture, he's got his uses, man. He's certainly got his uses. Um... Yeah, very, very weird, <laughs> very weird character to play about with. So yeah, I was so taken aback there by just how good he was for that fight. But overall, again, Vulture is a more useful champion than he was yesterday. He's not the best champion overall. But as we can see in the right scenario, man, this this boy, is, he's popping off. He is absolutely popping off. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts on Vulture in the comment section below. Uh, and if you did enjoy today's video, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.